welcome as we get ready to say farewell once more to a SpaceX Dragon cargo craft leaving the International Space Station. Dragon right now sits poised at the end of the robotic arm packed with about 3,700 pounds, almost 3,600 pounds of scientific experiments and cargo ready to be released from the grasp of the robotic arm, begin its flight away from the space station, eventually setting it up for a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean a little bit later today. Snares are open. Begin monitoring for drift out. I concur. And there you can see Dragon drifting away, so we're going to call that release officially at 4.05 a.m. Central Time. 5.05 a.m. Eastern Time with the station and Dragon flying 271 statute miles just to the southwest of Australia. Again, at 4.05 a.m. Central Time, 5.05 a.m. release. There you can see the space start to widen between Dragon and that robotic arm. The snares opened and the vehicle released. Dragon depart commanded. Copy. And with that, the arm far enough away, Luca Parmitano issuing the depart command to Dragon. Departure burn one is complete. Departure burn two is in approximately one minute. Monitor per step five in one decimal six zero two. Copy. Monitoring per step five. So at this point, the arm is finished backing away from the Dragon spacecraft. That first departure burn has been issued and is already complete. Again, that first departure burn, just about six second firing of Dragon's thrusters. At this point, Luca Parmitano continuing to monitor. He'll have a number of overlays, just making sure Dragon is flying away in the direction expected. Everything looking smooth so far with our operation today, this morning. Again, that release coming at 4.05 a.m. Central Time, 5.05 a.m. Eastern. At this point, the robotic arm is backed away. Dragon's first departure burn has been completed. We'll be looking for the second one, which will be about an 11-second firing of Dragon's thrusters coming up in the next 30 seconds. Meanwhile, Australia just coming into view beneath Dragon. This is both it and the station, about 268 statute miles in altitude. Just swinging up over the southern coast of Australia right now, about to make a pass over the heartland and then out over the northeastern part of the continent. And Luca, departure burn two. Mission's on two. Go ahead, Luca. Hey, we noticed that uh, while the jets were firing for uh, the departure burn two, the blast from the engines was uh, shaking quite vigorously the solar panels of Cygnus 12. Okay, copy that, Luca. Thanks for that data point right there. I want to let you know, yes, burn two is complete. Burn three will be in approximately seven minutes. So you can monitor per step six in one decimal six zero two. And we've also completed back away of the arm. I'll be back away complete and I'll be stepping into uh, six. And so at this point, that second departure burn has been completed. 
The next one will come up in about seven minutes from now. The Dragon exiting the area away from the station. You did hear Luca Parmitano. And Luca back with you. ISS thrusters are enabled. Copy all. And just now, Dragon completed a, a small maneuver. Uh, it's a 180-degree yaw maneuver, and that just sets it up for its uh, third departure burn, which is now underway. Again, these departure burns just moving the vehicle away from the International Space Station. The third departure burn plan for about a 21-second firing of those engines. I'm back with you on two, Luca. Departure burn three is complete. Dragon is outside the keep-out sphere.